I'm Chantal Potgieter, the Group Marketing Manager for Hatfield Motor Group and today I'm visiting our BYD dealership at the Woodmead campus in Johannesburg and chatting to Gladwin, our brand manager, to find out a bit more about this amazing product. Hi, I'm Gladwin Paul. I'm the brand sales manager for BYD Woodmead, situated in Woodmead, Johannesburg. Please feel free to pop into our dealership so we can actually give you an amazing experience with a wonderful range of BYD. Hi, my name is Chantal. I'm the Group Marketing Manager for Hatfield Motor Group. And today I've popped into one of our dealerships, BYD Woodmead. And the reason why I popped into this dealership is because this is a unique electric vehicle. And I wanted Gladwin, our sales manager and brand manager, to tell us a little bit more about this unique vehicle in South Africa. How's it Gladwin? How's it Chantal? How are you? Good, thanks in yourself. Very well, thank you. That's good. Thanks for having me, or oh, I actually just popped in. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about these beautiful cars that are in the showroom. Okay. And if you can tell me a little bit about, you know, what these cars are, um, what, they, what they offer the public, and also maybe we can like, demyth a few myths um, that's around the vehicles. And yeah, if you can tell me a bit more about a BYD, what does it stand for? Okay, so good morning, everybody, or whatever. Um, I'm glad when I'm the brand manager for BYD Woodmade. So BYD is Build Your Dreams. Build, build your, your Dreams. dreams yeah. so it's actually what BYD stands yeah. for. Build Your Dreams. So Build Your Dreams is an electric company, a battery operated company that started in 1995 in China. They've done phenomenally well in the battery sector, but they actually decided now to grow the, the brand and to create vehicles. Okay, so they didn't start building vehicles from 95, it started as batteries. It's batteries, yeah. Okay. It was a battery operating company. So it's a phenomenal vehicle and our competitor now is Tesla, which is actually huge in the world and we're actually giving uh, Tesla a run for their money. So currently in, in BYD range, uh, we have two models. We have the Atto 3 vehicles okay. and we have our Dolphin, which is the baby one, all right? Okay. So they are affordable electric cars catered for the public um, it's affordable vehicles where it's a fully electric car and um, it will give you an amazing experience. Mm. But our drive here is to give the South African public and everybody more brand awareness of what this remarkable vehicle can do for the public. Okay. So, so it's an electric vehicle. Yes. All right. So obviously everybody would have said, oh, load shedding, or how do I charge my vehicle, yeah. and things like that. So I did a bit of reading, and I've, um, I, I came across a website, yeah. on a South African website, that specifically shares with the public how many charging stations are available on which routes, and also, you know, how busy the charging station is, is it currently occupied, how many charging stations, more or less, are available, public charging stations in South Africa? About 790. 790, yeah. that's a huge volume. I mean, I've seen one or two like at malls, yeah. and I've seen on big roads, so going down to Cape Town, there's one in uh, Coolsbach. Yes. There's actually one in Coolsbach. It could be branded, I think that one's branded another brand, but you can charge at any, any of them. It's a universal charger. Yes, 100%. It's a universal charger, which caters from all cars, electric vehicles, from BMW, Volvo, BYD, and Mercedes Benz. So the customer will not have an issue as far as charging the car to get to his destination anywhere in South Africa. So that's obviously long roads. Yeah, right? yeah, long roads. So, so I remember um, I did a, um, a I was watching a documentary about the evolution of vehicles yeah. and, and and transportation and the cowboys was riding around on their horses and yeah. they had to feed the horse with hay yeah. and and get them to water to drink water and things like that and then it became those wind up electric vehicles yes. way back when and mm. then it moved over to combustion engines and things like that and now we back at electric vehicles yes. um, and the one thing that I liked about that is that there was this photo of the person sleeping and then the car was charging in the garage. So is that really possible? Or do I have to pay a lot of money to put on a charging system? How does, do I have to apply for three phase electricity at okay. home? Or how would that work? Okay, so basically on our cars with BYD, the car will come with a three pin plug trickle charger. Okay. So you can actually basically charge the car in a three pin wall socket at home. Like where I plug my TV Yeah, in. like where you plug your TV or you charge your cell phone, all those three pin and plug ports, right? So that is a uh, feature or an accessory that we will provide towards our car. Okay. Right. So you can charge the car from 0% to 100%. On a DC charger, it will take about four hours. 
Okay, so while I'm sleeping. If while I go sleeping, to bed 11 o'clock, the next morning, 6 o'clock, it will be charged? The car's fully charged, 100%. Okay. That's on an AC charge. Then you get the DC charge, which you'll get in all your big malls, shopping centers, uh, garages, mm -hmm. where the DC charger will charge the car within 35 minutes from 0 to 100%. 35, that's not even time to order a coffee and a meal. Exactly. Okay. It's, yes. So basically, it's all about informing the public of what this remarkable car can do, because we do understand in South Africa, a lot of people is worried about load shedding, the state of the country, what if they buy an electric car, are they going to have problems? We as, as BYD is here to actually guide the customer once they buy the vehicle and to, and to actually drive with them along the route to making them comfortable with regards to BYD. Because yeah. I can imagine it can be quite of a quite a bit of a mind change, yeah. you know, to, to, to say, okay, I'm getting in my car, quickly check how far it's charged, and then first go to the mall. Yeah. But, means, but the mall is five kilometers or 10 kilometers yes. away. Um, so I've also seen that um, with some research, because when we look at what the trade values of vehicles are yeah. and what is the average mileage that people travel, yeah. the average person living in a metro area, like yeah. us, uh, Gauteng, Johannesburg, to Pretoria, okay. um, the average person travels anything from 60 to 70 kilometers one way per day. So yes. that gives you 140 kilometers, maximum 200 kilometers a day that you would travel. Yes. So, so in theory, on that day, there's no need to charge that car. You can get home, like I would, you know, charge my phone or charge my watch. I would then plug it in and carry on at home. And by the next morning, I can travel again. So what is the average range of the Atto 3 and the Dolphin? Okay, fine. So the Atto 3, which is the big daddy of BYD currently in South Africa, the average driving range on this vehicle is 420 kilometers. 420 kilometers. 420 kilometers. Okay. The baby Dolphin here at the back of me, that will give you a driving range of 350 kilometers. Okay. So let me just get into the stats a bit, mm. right? On an average um, uh, hourly rate uh, per kilowatt of what the customer will be charged. Mm. On a normal charging rate here, per kilowatt, it's about three rand per kilowatt. Okay. Right? This is a 60 kilowatt blade battery. Okay, so that's how much it will cost you to charge it. To charge the car. Electricity. Yes. So to charge this car from zero to 100% based on the 60 kilowatt battery yeah. times three rand, it's gonna cost you 180 rand to charge this car that will give you a 420 kilometer driving range. Well, if I had to take a car with a fuel consumption of 10 yeah. to 100, yeah. I would have to put in 20 liters. Yes. And that's going to cost gonna me talk. 600, 400 rand. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. It will take you 600, 400 rand, which is not bad. Yeah. But on a normal uh, ice age vehicle, combustion engines, yeah. people on average in South Africa are spending about 1,300 to 1,500 per tank that they're filling up on the yes. car, yeah. right? So our car is more affordable. Yeah. If you're going to take the car and if you're going to, let's say you do four charges per month, mm. it's going to take you under 800 rand in power. And then if I am away, I've heard that there's a charge card yes. that you get yes. and you plug it in, you top up like yes. you did the old telephone card. Yes, 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 yes. And you actually just plug it in and you charge your car and it won't cost you a fortune. It's 130, 140 rand to charge your car from zero to full. Yes, exactly. So the cards can be actually supplied by grid cars. It's okay. 50 in a card. We can actually assist, assist the, the customer to actually get the grid card. Okay. So basically the customer just loads a thousand rand mm. on the card. That thousand rand can last the customer for two months in just stepping and driving. Yes. Right? And that's if you're not charging at home. That's if you're not charging at home. Okay. And if you have solar yeah. at your house, yeah. so a lot of the people, because of load shedding and some people trying to save some money, yeah. um, a lot of people have put uh, solar panels and batteries and things like that yeah. on in their vehicles. Some people have gone off the grid, but I think the percentage of people completely off the grid is much less than the percentage of people that are, have got a dual, um, dual supply of power. Yes. What effect will it have on your power supply in your house if you have to plug it into your whole how, 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 <laughs> Is the complete house going to like uh, throw feel the power. like it's going to shut down or is it a, you, you said it's a trickle charge so yeah. it's going to be gradual. Yeah, so basically you get two charges. You get the trickle charger just to charge the car normal. Yes. If the customer has full solar at his property, yes. then the customer can from us a request for a BYD wall box charger. Okay, and so, you didn't install it? Yeah, we can get the guys to install it in the customer's premises, yeah. wherever they want it. The only thing is the election will go meet up with the customer, have a look at the plans of the house, the dimensions of the solar. Mm -hmm. You will speak to the customer of what would be the, in the best customer's interest. Okay. If you're running on free solar, the car is going to cost you nothing to run at the end of the day. Okay. Right? 
And if you have to uh, charge the car on the seven kilowatt charge at home, yeah. it will take about 35 minutes to charge the car to 100%. Sure. So the same time it would take at a public charger yeah. that's an AC DC or a full DC charger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then, um, so then obviously the electrician that comes to help with the wall charger fitment will then guide you, is your inverter big enough? Do you yes. need to consider another battery yes. and things like that? Yes. Um, you would be able to consider Weak, that? Yes. Okay. Then I heard a rumor, so we're getting to myths. Okay. So they're saying I can plug my car into my house and run my house off my car. 100%. Really? Yeah. So it's basically, not a myth. it's not a myth. It's yeah, a fact. Cool. So BYD is the only car uh, currently in the EV market where it actually acts as a portable generator. My word. So basically, you can draw power from your car yeah. to assist with actually uh, powering small-time appliances like maybe a room at a house, a mm. kettle, uh, a, a stove, a fridge, just to make the public aware that you can draw power from the car yes. and it can assist you with your daily um, running of your house. Yeah. And uh, it's actually a fantastic uh, function mm -hmm. that uh, the consumer can actually be aware of. Sure, that is yeah. amazing. I yeah. didn't even, I thought it was like this yeah, it's real thrill. gimmick yeah. and yeah. it's not true. Yeah. And tell me the performance of the specific vehicle. Yeah. So now it's, it's like driving, you know, the kiddies cars and you plug it in and it's like, hey. yeah. what is the performance on this vehicle? Okay. Acceleration? Okay, so, so this one, your acceleration on this one, phenomenal car. Yeah, you're going to get about uh, 7.2 to 100 k's. Sure, that's uh, like instant. Yeah. It's an electric car, so the minute you press your accelerator, the car goes. So it's like a golf cart. It's it just goes. It just goes automatically. Okay. This car is performing on 150 kilowatts. Yes, that is quite amazing. Yeah, and that is more in line with what the Golf GTI was in the yes. Golf 6 GTI. Yes. Phenomenal, comfortable, stylish, okay. and you can see BYD is premium. Okay. Yes, I see. The, car, the lines look very yeah. modern, but it's a very stylish, clean look. I love the look of it. I like the colors, the different colors that are yes. available. Yes. It's quite dynamic, and the green is absolutely beautiful. Mm. Um, tell me the technology inside the vehicle. So I've heard that most of the things inside the vehicle is voice activated. Yes. Tell me a bit more about the functionality and the tech inside the vehicle. Okay, so the tech in the car is very, very futuristic. Okay. Right? So it's your full voice command. Mm. You can ask BYD to do anything. Hi BYD, open the sunroof. Hi BYD, open the windows. Hi BYD, select 94.7, hot FM. Hi BYD, pick up the kids. Hi Jeff. BYD, take me home. Oh. I bl literally I tried it out. Hi BYD, take me home. Yes. On the set nav, yeah. the car basically moved in the direction, but because of the infrastructure in South Africa and the roads, it couldn't pick up. So the, the South Drive is disabled? South, yeah, currently. Oh, okay. But that all will be integrated in time to come. Uh, once they get everything in place now. But the lines of the car is phenomenal, the, um, the, the touchscreen radio is phenomenal. Uh, when you drive a BYD, it's like you're in another dimension of life. Awesome. And that is what we want to, the customers to experience now. Yeah. So it's a complete lifestyle change. It's so a, a car is not just uh, anymore uh, from getting what, point 0.1 to point 0.2 yeah. from A to B. It's literally your car is, 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 a, is a Moses of transport, but inside it there's a lot of technology available. Yes. You don't have to go and sit at a fuel, fuel station. You don't need to. You know, and go and fill up. At, um, on the N1, yeah. N1 halfway, you can charge it while you're dry, uh, sleeping. Um, then with regards to service and maintenance, right. um, what is the warranty period or service? Do I have to service now every 5,000 Ks? Okay. What do we need to do Okay, then? so basically on the, Atto, on the BYD range, mm -hmm. the Atto 3 and the Dolphin comes with the eight-year, 150,000 kilometer warranty on the blade battery. Okay, so on the battery itself. On yes. the battery okay. itself, right? So our batteries are basically made out of lithium ion, and it's basically built in modulars. Okay. So if the modular goes, they just replace the module, okay. put a new module mod modular in the car, and the customer can continue with his journey. All right. It's not here where we need to replace the battery. We don't replace the battery. Okay. We replace the modular. Okay, cool. So the warranty on the, on the, on the blade battery mm -hmm. is an eight-year, 150,000-kilometer warranty. Mm -hmm. The car comes with an eight-year, 100,000-kilometer maintenance plan on the vehicle. Mm -hmm. The car gets serviced at every 20,000 Ks, or every year, whichever comes first, mm -hmm. when the car comes in for a service, mm -hmm. believe you me not, Chantel, the service on this car will take about 15 to 25 minutes. Yes, because there's no engine. There's no engine. Okay, so, so no oil. No oil. Hmm. So basically, they're just going to che check the brakes, yes. right? They're going to just do the, um, the battery a check on the 12-volt battery, yes. the battery check. Yeah. They'll just fill in the water in the one terminal yeah. and change the wipers. My word. So, it's a so you can sit and wait for your car, have a cup of coffee, and buy, and buy 
in, you can leave in 25 to 30, 30 minutes, minutes unless you want to wash. Unless you want to wash, yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah, and then the car will come with a uh, five-year, 100,000 overall maintenance plan on the car. Okay. So just to catch you again, 8 year, 150,000 kilometer warranty on the blade battery. Yes. Five year, 100,000 full maintenance plan. Okay. Right, you don't pay for anything. Service plan is inclusive, and the car will come with a five year, 100,000 warranty. So the customer doesn't need to worry about anything. Oh. We will take control of the customer's needs, okay. the maintenance, the warranties, and we just want the customer to be happy and to be comfortable in driving a BYD. Okay. Then from a practical perspective, mm. if I want to buy a vehicle and I want to apply for finance, mm. um, vehicle finance, yeah. are the banks comfortable to finance an electric vehicle because it's something new in the country? Okay. Or are the, would the banks be charging me more because it's a weird product or a niche product? Okay. Or is it normal finance like any other car? Okay, so basically it's normal finance like any other car. What's phenomenal with BYD is BYD has done phenomenally well internationally. Mm. BYD Electric Vehicles Atto is currently in the international markets now for almost three years. Sure. So the brand has developed and South Africa has accepted it. So all our four major banks mm. has accepted the, the, the business to finance these vehicles, mm. give the customers the best preferential rates, mm. give the customers the best service. So as far as financing is concerned, mm. we can give the customer full service mm. from the time of finance mm. till it takes time of delivery. So finance is easy and we can make it happen for the customer. The insurance, are the insurance companies comfortable to insure this vehicle at this point in time? You haven't had any problems with that yet? So we've never had any problems with regards to insurance on these sort of vehicles, but what we need to understand, it's an electric vehicle. Mm. Insurance premiums could be slightly a bit more expensive than what you would pay on a normal Ice Age vehicle. Okay. So what I mean is, if you're paying, let's say on a normal car, about 1,500, mm. a vehicle like this would probably cost you about two grand. Okay, but you're saving on fuel, so it's yeah, not so actually, you're still saving a, a hell of a lot of, yeah. because 200 Rand extra on the, on the monthly insurance versus 1,500, 2,000 per tank of fuel. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, it's, it's really irrelevant. It's irrelevant. To be, to, to be honest. Cool, and then tell me, if, if, if we have a number of customers coming into the dealership okay. today to come and buy cars, um, because, you know, these are amazing cars to come and drive, mm. do you have stock? We've got stock. We've of got both plenty, models? Of both models. We've got stock on the Atto 3. We've got stock on the Dolphin. Mm -hmm. We've got stock to supply our, our customers' needs and to supply the customer, right? That's amazing yeah. to hear. And tell me, how long, if a customer had to walk in here and they want to experience the vehicle? Mm -hmm. um, because obviously it's, it's a mindset change. Mm -hmm. There's a thing called range anxiety. Yes. People don't know how far they can drive and can it really drive that far. Yes. So it's important for people to experience this vehicle before they make the final decision. Yes. Um, what can you offer customers that come to the Hatfield Motor Group BYD Woodmeat dealership? Yeah. What, what unique experience can you offer the customers? Okay, so if the customer comes into the dealership, mm -hmm. uh, like we're saying, this is a niche market. Mm -hmm. The customer just can't test drive the vehicle for like five, 10 minutes and come back and make a decision. We don't want that. We need to build comfort and awareness in the customer. So if the customer comes and apply for finance and the finance is pre-approved, right? Validations is done. What we will do is we will give the customer a vehicle to test drive for a day overnight on conditions that um, everything is in place. Uh, he can leave his vehicle here at our premises, safe custody. Customer can take the vehicle, experience it overnight with his family, mm. come back the next day, and we can be basically set and finalize this deal. So we basically want the customer to basically experience this vehicle with his family, mm. because you know at the end of the day, the wife's are the decision maker. Should no, now. the kids are the oh, decision makers. Oh yeah, especially maker. with these especially cars with now. Especially with the high tech cars. Yeah, so the <laughs> kids are the, uh, are the decision makers. Uh, the, the parents are still, they're comfortable, yeah. but the kids are making decisions yes. because it's very, very futuristic. So what we as Hatfield Motor Group would mean Will do. Customer walks in, we apply for the finance. Yes. Customer wants to buy the buy the vehicle cash, we will take a holding deposit. Yes. We will give the customer the vehicle overnight. Mm -hmm. We just need to run a booking system because a lot of people will do it. And we want the customer to experience the car. And I guarantee you, if the customer experiences the car in the vicinity of his own home with his family, mm -hmm. he will be 100% ready to buy this vehicle. And that's what we need to push now he moving or forward. He or she, or they. Day. Yeah. Maybe both of them. Maybe both one day. for him, one for her. Yeah, and the baby 
one for the kid. <laughs> yeah. But Gladwin, thank you so much thank for, you. For, for breaking some myths and actually confirming some to thank say you. that I can actually charge something from my house using the car as a generator. Yes. That's quite cool. Or not a generator because there's no fuel in it. Maybe yeah. like a UPS or something. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, but to the public out there, um, come and visit Gladwin and the team from BYD with me. Um, they are passionate about the BYD product. It is really a vehicle that you need to come and test and experience. Um, you need to come overcome your fear and they have the tools and the means to share with you this great experience of driving an electric vehicle. So we're looking forward to meet you here. Gladwin and the team is ready to take your calls. 100%. And then at the end of this video, you'll get our telephone numbers, our WhatsApp number, and then we are conveniently located on Whitme Drive, um, right next to the Ford and Aval dealerships, which is the Hatfield Motor Group campus. So Gladwin, yeah. I hope that your door is open and busy with a lot of customers that come and see these vehicles and experience them. If you're a tech savvy person, this is the place that you need to visit very soon and come and see the vehicles. Thank you so much for your time. So guys, the experience now awaits you. We as BYD Woodmead, Hatfield, Hatfield BYD Woodmead, we want you to come into the dealership and we want you to experience BYD and the, and, and the futuristic driving experience that you will create from us. Myself and my team is ready waiting for you so we can actually help you and assist you to convert you from ice age vehicles which will come to an end in a few years time and to start converting you into electric vehicles. Welcome to BYD Woodmead and we hope that we can actually build future relationships and we can take the brand to another level. So thank you so much. Thanks, Claire.